Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech and today what we're looking at is different hose setups for pulling a vacuum on an air conditioning or heat pump system. So in this setup we actually have pulled the valve cores out of the service valves. We've then attached our valve core removal tools to our hoses. So this hose right here is a quarter inch by quarter inch with no valve core depressor in it. This is a 3 8 line right here attached to the vacuum pump as well and it goes from 3 8 to quarter inch. We've pulled the valve core out of this side as well and I'm using two valve core removal tools here. The reason being we're going to pull a vacuum and then you should be able to turn those valves and isolate the vacuum pump and the hoses from the system and the micron gauge. So the micron gauge should not uh, rise above 500 microns. After that's done then you can go ahead and shut your micron gauge off and you can either Break your vacuum uh, with opening the service valves from a unit that's holding refrigerant in it. Or if the valves are already up, you could break it with refrigerant into the liquid line. So you got liquid refrigerant uh, weighed into the liquid line as much as you need uh, per the rating plate and the amount of feet of the line set. So this is one way to do it. There's uh, multiple different ways to pull a vacuum. This is a fairly quick way to pull a vacuum. You typically want to have your micron gauge as close to the system as possible. Some people attach from here with a hose and then attach their vacuum to it. You can do that as well, but my main concern is that I have a valve here that is vacuum rated to be able to shut my micron gauge off and isolate it uh, before I release the refrigerant into the system. I typically release the refrigerant into the system before I put the trader valves back in and before I remove my valve core removal tools. So like I said, there's a, a lot of different ways to pull a vacuum, but this is the way that I like to do it. This is another way to attach your vacuum pump and manifold assembly. So you could just cap this off, keep this shut, and have all three of these valves open on this four port uh, manifold gauge set. You just have a 3 8 line coming off the vacuum pump, coming into the manifold set, and then coming both into the red and blue lines attaching to here and here. In this setup, we've Pulled the Schrader valves out and we have our vacuum gauge attached right here next to the vapor line surface valve. This quarter inch line right here is capped. Here's another way to do it with the micron gauge attached to the service line. You could attach it here like this. You could attach it like this with a hose over to a micron gauge under the cap on this side. You want to make sure that all four of these valves are open if you're pulling from here. You could attach it with a quarter by quarter inch coupler. It's most accurate if you can get the micron gauge over by the service valve. And we usually put it uh, right next to the vapor service valve. You could attach the micron meter here. This way, after you're done pulling your vacuum, you can isolate your vacuum from the system by closing this valve right here and either closing this valve or this valve. Then you're going to end up measuring the vacuum through the valve core removal tool. After you're done measuring the vacuum, after you shut the system off, you can then isolate the micron gauge and then you can go ahead and open up the service valves. You just make sure that you have this valve shut right here. So that's a way to do it with two valve core removal tools. So here's another way to uh, run a vacuum. Just make sure that you have your 3 8 cap on here and you can just pull out of your quarter inch line over to here and through your manifold gauge set over to your blue line on the suction line and your red line on the liquid line. When you have pulled down below 500 microns, you can then go ahead and shut this valve off and then shut this handle off or this and then turn your vacuum pump off. Then you make sure that your vacuum uh, micron reading does not rise above 500 microns and then you can go ahead and isolate your micron gauge off of the system and then open your valves up. So it's best to have your micron gauge as close to the vapor service line as possible. And it's nice to be able to have your valve cores pulled out using valve core removal tools and to not be pulling a vacuum through your manifold gauge set. Make sure to use vacuum rated hoses. Now we're just going to go back to the original setup that I typically use. This is the way that I found to be the most simplest and best uh, for vacuuming and uh, least amount of problems. But everybody has their own way of doing this and just so you know I included a list of the different tools used in this video down in the description below like the vacuum pump, the vacuum rated hoses, valve core removal tool, micron gauge, the different manifold gauge sets, 
the subco vacuum. You could use that vacuum gauge just like that and the service wrench. I typically use straight service wrenches. I don't typically find much use for the offset, though everybody will like their own type that they use. This is just the type that I always use and haven't found any problem with getting into a certain spot. It's also nice to make sure that you have your Allen key. Uh, is not short, but it is longer, like about, this is about 5 eighths of an inch for the inner one. If it's only about a quarter inch or so, it's, it's not going to fit some liquid valves. So just keep an eye on that if you're looking at getting a service wrench. If you want to support this channel and be a part of our community over on Patreon, check that platform out over at patreon.com slash Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.